Okay, so I don't normally do one shots. I typically feel as though if I only have one thing to say about a video, then I may as well just leave it in a comment. But I'm sorry, I'm not about to let this one slide. So for those unaware, Nihilistic Snake, better known as Slothboy, recently made a top 10 of his most overrated games. A lot of people had problems with it, and a couple of people have even covered it. However, there's one big thing that I noticed that no one else seems to have picked up on. What I'm about to describe is a list that JonTron made of his top 10 overrated games. Let me know if anything sounds familiar. We begin with a forward to the list that is on camera, despite the fact that the vast majority of the list uses nothing but gameplay footage. The number 10 segment is about a sequel that's praised for, and I quote, fixing all the flaws of the original game. The number 9 segment gives no explanation for why the game is on the list, and instead the presenter says, once again I'm quoting, fuck this game. The number 8 segment explains how a game made by Bethesda, called the best game ever by many publications, does not deserve that type of praise. The number 7 segment is a fighting game with a sequel, which the presenter says is a genre that automatically gets better with iteration. The number 5 segment is an entire franchise that the presenter does not feel deserve the praise it gets. The number 4 segment is a game that the presenter outright hates. The number 3 segment begins with the words, Oh, I went there, followed by explaining that this could have easily topped the list. Further elaboration on the entry includes that the game isn't a bad game and that the presenter has never, and I quote, obsessed with the series. The number two segment begins with the presenter making a joke about people already hating him for his choice, but then explains that age is what makes this game not as good as people say it is. After the number two segment, we get another face cam clip to introduce the number one segment in a vague fashion. The number one segment is a Zelda game that the presenter says isn't the best game ever because of games that came out after it. Now, in case you didn't figure it out by now, the phrases I used also describe Nihilistic Snake's list. Hell, I even left out some direct quotes that were exactly the same. Figured by leaving both videos in the description, that'll let people see how much more similar these lists really are. So, here's my biggest problem. If you just ripped off another YouTuber, that'd be one thing. In fact, it'd be one thing if you just ripped off somebody as big as JonTron. Seems like he knows what he's doing, so why not copy what he did to get his success, right? At least that makes sense in somebody's mind. However, I want everyone to look at the channel that the JonTron video is on. JonTron's Lost Videos. Now, you may be wondering why it's there and not on JonTron Show, which is JonTron's actual channel. That's because, sloth boy, you didn't copy someone's successes. You copied someone else's failures. You copied a video that JonTron himself disowned after Backlash. That makes this probably the biggest mistake of your YouTube career.